Welcome back. Now I'll share with you the core pain points of the average Singaporeans like you and me. These are the pain points we really face today. Number one, the spike in the cost of living. You know, the man on the street like you and me, we don't need technical details to tell us that the cost of living in Singapore is going way up. But our salaries, our wages are staying stagnant, especially for the working and the middle class like you and me. Average Singaporeans, we are not earning million dollar minister salaries. That's why we feel the squeeze every day in our lives. Take a look at how the prices have changed in the last five years. Our salaries can hardly match the increase in prices of even basic goods and services. Instead of thinking of ways to ease the burden on all of us Singaporeans like you and me, the PAP-led government introduces and wants to still introduce new taxes and increase the rate of the existing ones. This is not right. Look at the water prices. They have gone up nearly 30%. Look at the electricity prices. They have gone up nearly 23%. The polyclinic fees have gone up by even 20%, my dear friends. Even a cup of kopi, the simple coffee and tea you buy, has gone up nearly 20%. But our median salaries, where have they gone? Have they really gone up even half that amount of 15%? Today, we need to ask these questions and I'm comparing this in very simple comparison with the last general election in 2015. How the prices of basic goods and services have changed versus the median salaries that you and I are getting. Something to think about, my dear fellow Singaporeans. Now, the second core main point that's very painful for average Singaporeans, and you may be facing it too, Maybe one of your loved ones are facing it too. But I'm sure if not yourself, not your family members, then you surely know of young Singaporeans who are losing good jobs due to lax immigration policies. And this is very, very, very painful. But before I go further, I would like to very categorically say to you that foreigners are good for Singapore. Foreigners are good for Singapore and like us, they are also seeking a better life for themselves, aren't they? But the irresponsible immigration policies of the PAP-led government has led to an excessive influx of foreigners. And that is what we are against. The excessive influx of foreigners at the expense of local Singaporeans. That is what we are against. Because of this, I do not know whether you feel it, but every Singaporean we have been meeting on the road, they are saying that there is a greater tension between Singaporeans and foreigners. Why such a pain in Singapore? More local working professionals, maybe yourself, your family members are getting retrenched while the number of foreigners hired, especially in professional positions, has steadily risen over the last few years. Our PMETs are suffering very badly. And I'll just share with you this much, that in the last nine years, did you know that working professionals in Singapore have forced, or rather have been facing this constant threat of forced retrenchment? And that is very painful employment for foreign working professionals it has risen steadily over the same period it is a problem of policy not people our people our Singaporeans are wonderful good hard-working educated talented individuals it is not a problem with our people it is a problem with the policy and we need a change that's why vote for SDA we need your support thank you